Hello everybody and welcome to some more Fighter Subscriber where my lovely subscribers have sent me a whole bunch of craft. We put them through a preliminary round and now the best of them will make their way through a gauntlet of my own fighters, which you can see here. At the end of the last video I forgot to mention that Kelvus Manos' uh, XF1 Gladius has already guaranteed itself a place in this season's final, and today it will be joined by either Legged Lax P69 GX Slap to 3 or today's craft, so let's go and meet it. This is by Project Velocity and this is the ADF44SH Sausage. Well, at least it's not another craft with the number 69 in the name, I suppose. Um, no, to be fair, it is a good-looking craft. Nice and sleek, with almost a near-future aesthetic to it, which I do like a lot. The craft is powered by two Saturn engines and has two engine pre-coolers, which should help a little bit when it comes to trying to avoid sidewinders. Uh, it's also armed with six Amrams, six sidewinders and three Vulcan cannons. As ever, we've taken this up for a test flight and uh, that was interesting. Uh, I mean... It's manoeuvrable in one sense. I mean, it can pull a hard enough turn when it needs to, but it's um, it's when we get into the roll axis that things get a little trickier. There is very little roll authority in this craft, and it made doing some manoeuvres very tricky indeed. Um, I understand there's a growing trend at the moment towards uh, stability over manoeuvrability when it comes to rolling, but uh, the sausage... I can't believe I just said that. The sausage does seem to be pushing it almost to an extreme here. Um, there isn't much point speculating about how this could uh, affect the craft's performance, however, because, uh, well, we can just go and find out. So, business as usual for the first fight where the ADF-44 will face off against my club tail. Let's get them into the air. And so the first fight starts, and for some reason the... <laughs> The UI isn't showing the markers for the uh, for the club tails. It's showing the targeting marker, but um, nevertheless, I'm sure we will uh, be able to manage to work out what's going on in this fight. The ADF-44s unleashing their first volley of AMRAMs. How many have they set up to fire, fire per target? 18! Okay, so basically just pepper the enemy with everything you've got. Now though, Jebediah Kerman having to break low to uh, to avoid missiles. Yeah, that really is a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to get that sorted for the next fight. I can't even tell who's in good health and who is not. All oh, the club tails seem to be okay. No, Rowena Kerman has taken a nasty hit, has blown off all her control surfaces. One of her tail wings. That is not good news. Another one comes in. Yeah, Rowena Kerman is out of here. Shawnee Kerman, though, also quite heavily damaged. Though still in the fight, trying to acquire a target there. Can't quite get the Sidewinder away, although a Sidewinder at this range would be very helpful. Also having trouble controlling his craft, also missing a lot of control services. Valentina Kerman, though, in a healthy club tail, launches a Sidewinder, launches another Sidewinder, and at this range, you've got to think, that is, I'm assuming that's that sausage, this is Oh my god, two of the sausages have gone. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> Daffy Kerman comes about. It's one on one. A missile goes wide. <laughs> Another missile coming in. I'm assuming that's a sidewinder. This could be deadly, especially at this range. Comes in! And the ADF-44s came so close to victory here, they got it down to one-on-one. -on -one. But Valentina Kerman, in the unscathed club tail, gets the victory with her last missile. Let's move on to the next fight, and hopefully I can work out what's been going on with the, uh, with the UI here. So a narrow loss there for the ADF-44, but they do get a couple of points on the board thanks to those two kills. However, if they want to be in with any chance of making it through to this season's final, they will now need to win their next two fights perfectly. Um, and that starts with this next one against my Panthers. Let's get this one going.
Our second fight starts, and as you can see, I've worked out how to turn craft markers back on, because that was a real pain in the arse earlier. And the ADF-44s will turn around and will just start <laughs> pasting, the, pasting the Panthers with as many missiles as they can. Um, I know I've been complaining about this craft's name. I was, uh, for one of the mailbag streams, I was sent an alternative version of this craft, which had a little pod on top, uh, which looked a little bit like... Um, yeah, well, anyway, uh, and that craft was called the Laser Sausage, which, yeah, I think just just sausage is a bit of an improvement. How are the Panthers faring in this? Avoiding the missiles, just the uh, just the AMRAMs for the moment. That might change though as soon as the uh, Sidewinders start being deployed. Those two look like they're coming quite close, but no. Uh, a flurry of chaff is enough to put them off the scent. Let's go back to uh, to the uh, ADF-44s. Jebediah Kerman. Now with the Sidewinders se selected. Not a target, though. You might want to change that. Oh, something's, something's been hit there. I think that's one of the Panthers. That looks like another one of the Panthers. They're falling fast. Jebediah Kerman. Loose as a sidewinder at what I think would be the last remaining healthy panther. Rowena Carmen, and it is no longer a healthy panther. It loses a lot of its control surfaces. Loses all of its control surfaces. It's now just sort of lawn darting into the ocean, but doesn't get the chance. As another sidewinder comes in. Valentina Kerman. Desperately holding on there. I don't think she's going to be able to do much, is losing more of her aircraft as the seconds tick by. Trying to pop some countermeasures, I'm assuming she's got a Sidewinder coming in, but um, the ocean does the work before the missile gets the chance, although she does get a missile off, I think. Or was that friendly fire? One of the ADF, a couple of the ADF-44s have suffered damage, but... Um, It appears to have happened after the uh, after the last panther was taken out. I don't know what happens there. May have been friendly fire. Hmm. Uh, anyway, while I uh, work out what that's all about, let's uh, let's move on to our final fight. Okay, so having reviewed the footage of that last fight, I am going to give it as a full three to nothing win for the ADF forty four, which means they are. Just one perfect victory away from a possible place in this season's final, but they have a pretty major obstacle to overcome in the form of my Red Hawks. Let's get this one started. Approaching the 8km mark, and our final fight starts. The sausage once again turning hard. Oh god. Um, loosing. It's missiles, but the uh, the Red Hawks have turned very quickly as uh, they can, and have done much the same. Only the two missiles coming in per volley from the Red Hawks. I think it'll all come down to how well they can uh, they can avoid the barrage that will be thrown at them. Jebediah Kerman doesn't seem to have much difficulty dodging those first two. It doesn't doesn't seem like anybody's been hit. Nope, all the missiles have gone clean past. And Jebediah turns around to loose a few more. Distance really closing now. Red Hawk over there, I presume, launching some more missiles. Jebediah is still well out of the action, although there appears to be a few here where the distance is closing. That was something. What was that? Was that a Red Hawk? One of the Red Hawks has been hit. Valentina Kerman is out of the fight. Still providing a distraction to some of the ADF-44s, which will help her wingmen. How are the other Red Hawks doing? Shawnee Kerman narrowly avoiding a missile there. If you can turn around, maybe get... Who's he trying to target? Maybe get a Sidewinder away, but no, doesn't get the opportunity, gets blown out of the sky. Rowena Kerman. Oh, 
almost gets guns onto one of the ADF-44s, comes around. Pulling a hard turn. It's all down to you, Naruina. To level things up. Gets guns away! Gets some damage onto one of the uh, ADF-44s. It might be enough, it might not be. Let's go see if we can find it. I don't think that was the craft. It's Richmond Kerman's craft. That is a missile launched at one of the ADF-44s. Doesn't seem to have done much though. More missiles going in. That seems to be more like it. One of the sausages just stripped clean off of the vessel mover. As finally the same thing happens to the last Red Hawk. The Red Hawks though getting that kill in before the last of them succumbed, meaning this is not a perfect victory. And uh, I'm afraid this is going to be bad news for the ADF-44, but um, let's go and have a look at the final scores and see exactly what's what. So the ADF-44 SH Sausage proves to be a very capable fighter, despite my earlier misgivings. But that last minute kill by the Red Hawks will put a serious dent in its ambitions, and uh, if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see exactly why. With 8 kills and 5 survivors, the ADF-44 sits on 13 points, and but for that last minute casualty, it would have been on 14 points, and uh, I'd have had to have done a tie-break between it and the Shinden, which... Um, I'm quite glad I'm not having to do that because it probably would have gone down to time to kill and that is a total arse ache to work out. Good news for Maximus Light's AC Shinden then and very good news for Legged Lack's P69GX Slapter 3 which is now confirmed as having secured its place in this season's final. An enormous thank you to Project Velocity for this craft, it uh, certainly caused a bit of suspense towards the end there. Um, if you want me to fight any of your craft, submissions for Season 3 are now closed, I'm afraid, but I am still running my regular mailbag streams, so um, if you want me to feature your craft there, uh, please feel free to send them to the email address that I will put down in the description. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider dancing the can-can down your hallway whilst covered in barbecue sauce. No, just kidding. Liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, all that kind of stuff, details down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but for now... Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.